I've been experimenting with virtual desks on Chrome OS since they first showed up, and now that they're kind of available for the masses behind a flag in Chrome OS 76 and expected to be fully rolled out in Chrome OS 77, we wanted to take just a few minutes to explain what they are, how they work, and why for me they've completely changed my workflow. Today's video is brought to you by NordVPN and they are the VPN of choice for millions of users across the globe because they are awesome at securing and keeping your data private whenever you are at home or out on the go. If you'd like to learn more about them and about their services, go to chromeunbox.com forward slash NordVPN to learn more today. So we're gonna get into basically a tutorial and I'm gonna show you kind of how I've moved into using virtual desks in my daily routine. But a bit about them if you're watching this and kind of curious as to exactly what they are. Virtual desks basically give you multiple desktops uh, in a virtual space, much like the name would imply. And so normally with a Chromebook before this all came along, uh, and if you ignore Mac OS and Linux and Windows that all already do this, you basically had one desktop. So you had your laptop, you would open it up. What's on your screen's on your screen. So the more windows you open up, you can three finger swipe and kind of see all of them in an expose view, but it didn't help really organize those things. It always was one thing on top and then everything else was underneath of it and you'd bring one thing to the top. And so actually multitasking with multiple windows got pretty difficult as soon as you had multiple things open and it just felt cluttered and confined. Well, most people to get out of that rut would extend the monitor to a second display or maybe even a third display. That way they can kind of put things on multiple displays and at a glance be able to see what's over here and then what's over here, look at that email, make that change, that kind of stuff. Well, virtual desktops gives you the ability to do that with just a single screen. And just as quick as I can dart my eyes over and back and see that secondary monitor, I can use a gesture or a keyboard shortcut and bring that second display into view now on my single Chromebook. So now I've got this multiple monitor setup kind of going, except not having to carry around any extra cables or any extra screens. And so for me, as someone who likes to work on the go, learning to leverage this and learning to change my behaviors and my work patterns so that I can leverage this fully on a day-to-day -day basis was a huge win. So I wanna show you kind of how I've done that and walk you through the steps of how you can kind of move around and manipulate these virtual desks. So let's just jump right in and talk through a little bit about how to add and subtract and move through the virtual desk. And then I'll show you a little bit about my setup and how I've been leveraging virtual desks on a Chromebook. So first up you see in this, this main desk here, I've got a website that I've been working on. Um, you can tab, move back and forth through tabs just like you normally would with three fingers. Everything that you would normally do to move around a Chromebook is the exact same. Nothing has changed from that perspective except for when I go into this overview mode, I now see the option up here in the right to add a new desk. I've added all four desks that you can right now. That's the limit. Hopefully they'll add, you know, maybe up to six or eight desks at some point. I found four is plenty, but that is the limit for right now. Once you've added your desk, you're free to click that desk and you can move right to it. And additionally, you can actually move between desks with a four finger swipe left or right uh, on the trackpad. And that allows you to kind of bounce back and forth between two open desktops, similar to the way that your head would move back and forth if you had a secondary monitor up here. If I have some information on this desk, or this desktop or this screen, and I have to look over to see what it was I was looking at in that email and then look back, no different, four finger swipe, and you can look right at what you need to look at, four finger swipe right back. And the benefit here again is that I'm not moving one thing in front of another, in front of another, in front of another, and rearranging windows. I can leave them all arranged exactly how they are and just four finger swipe, look at what I need, four finger swipe back. And so that's kind of where the benefit of these virtual desktops come in. So let's talk through a couple keyboard shortcuts you can use. Shift and search button on your keyboard are gonna kind of be your friends here. So if you hold the search key, uh, if you're on a pixel book or a pixel slate, it's just gonna be the key that just has that circle on it over right above your left shift button. If you hold that and hit the bracket left or right that are right above your enter keys, that's gonna move you through your virtual desk. So just two keys and you can move around your virtual desk. So if you're using like a mouse setup and a keyboard, you do have a quick uh, function that you can actually move around. If you want to add an additional desk. So say you only have one desk open right now, you wanna add one. If you hold shift and search and then hit the plus key, 
you're going to get another desk. If you want to delete the desk that you're on right now, shift and search and minus, and it will get rid of it. You'll get this nice little bump animation and the desk will go away and all your open windows will just slide over to the next desk. If you don't have any, you can delete at that time. If you're on your only desk, it'll just kind of bump up and down and keep you exactly where you are. The other beneficial keystroke here that you can use is shift search and the same brackets that moved you around allow you to actually take the window that you're focused on and slide it off screen. So let's, uh, let's actually see that real quick in action. Uh, let me get to a desk that actually has some stuff on it. So say I want to take this window right here and I'm going to move it over one. I'm going to hit shift search and the right bracket and you see it slide right off screen and it now is on my fourth desk. And so now if I want to move it back, one of the cooler things you can do is actually grab open windows in overview, pick them up and just drag them onto desks. And you can see this in motion here. That's insanely beneficial. It's the way that I go about actually organizing and making my desk setups uh, lay out the way that I want them to. I just open stuff up, go into overview, add the desk, and then just kind of drag stuff up in here. And so you get this nice uh, animation whenever you move it between, it, it kind of shrinks down and it's quite clear exactly what you're doing. Once you've got everything organized, go back to your desk you're working on and boom, you're ready to go. So real quick, this is the way that I'm leveraging virtual desks right now. It doesn't mean this is how you have to use them. Uh, if I have a secondary screen up, I change this up because I got tons more real estate to work with, but I'm, I'm starting to work with just one device. Uh, the Lenovo C630, the Yoga Chromebook has just kind of been my go-to since virtual desk showed up because with all the screen real estate and virtual desks, I just don't feel the need for a whole lot of other equipment. And I like that ability to just open up and get going wherever I wanna go. So right now I've got it in the first window, I kind of keep whatever it is I'm working on. So if I'm writing an article, that window's gonna be here. If I'm working on a website, that website, you know, the back end of WordPress, that kind of stuff's gonna be on my first screen. We go to the next one. I kind of learned to keep this one for email and that kind of stuff. Or maybe if I have an email that opens up a Google Drive or something like that, that's what I have in here. So my email accounts are all up here at the top. I've got everything sorted and I can jump. I know in my second desk, that's where my messaging, my email kind of stuff is going. In the third one are my utilities. So I was building a, a quick little graphic for this website. I have Gravit in here. If I had any other utility open at the time, like Pixlr, or I was editing a photo in Lightroom or something like that, I'm gonna keep those all on my third desktop. So that's kind of my utilitarian desktop. And then the fourth one I keep for kind of the overflow, the extra stuff, the more personal things. So for me, that's, uh, that's WhatsApp or uh, my text messaging. That's my Google Play Music or YouTube Music or whatever, like that kind of media stuff just kind of goes in this last one. The benefit here is I don't always have to four finger swipe around to everything. So you can see on the screen here, if I go to, you know, a notification comes up and I have a WhatsApp message. If I click WhatsApp in the tray, it's automatically gonna swipe me right back over to where WhatsApp is. I don't have to go hunting around for it. So there's some benefit to using the tray to navigate. There's some benefit to using the keyboard shortcuts. There's some benefit sometimes to going overview and swipe to look at my desks again and figure out where I was and where I need to go. The real win here is the fact that you have all of those ways to move around your virtual desk. And because you have all of those options, I've found that utilizing virtual desks in this way has alleviated the need for me to have a secondary monitor. It's alleviated the need really for me to carry around that USB display that, that I had been carrying around prior to this. And I'm learning through just kind of changing my behaviors and my habits to get everything done on one screen right here. Even though it is a 15.6 inch screen, it's a much more compact package. I can carry one Chromebook and feel like I can be productive just about anywhere. But guys, that's it for this one. If you liked it, feel free please to give us a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and hit that notification bell if you'd like to be alerted when we make new videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.